This is one of the most touching stories I've ever seen. These elderly people had a tough life. Some were homeless and others had to beg for a living. Their own families had left them all alone. But then this amazing woman came into their lives. She opened her heart and home to them becoming like their mother. God has given me new children. Even though she doesn't have much, she still does her best to take care of them and make their lives better. Normally, she's a mother to grown-up kids, but because of her golden heart, she chose to be a mother to the other people older than her, whom she didn't even know much about. She did it just to help them have a good life, even though she doesn't have a lot of money. Listen to her full story. I promise your heart will be touched. My name is Royce Muldoni from Ishiara, there and not. Since from June, I started to see these people roistering in town, boring food. Then I, I felt sympathy on them. So I started to correct them together, both food from my friends and start to cook for them. I do cook breakfast, uji, porridge, and lunch, and supper. Some are very honed before they were able to go to people's garden and find their daily bread. But this time they can't because they are on summer sick. They cannot. She's the person who looks after them making sure they have everything they need every single day. And it's not always easy for her, but she gives it her all. She mentions that the people we notice in her home aren't the only ones she helps. There are many more who rely on her help. This one working with a stick, sticks. I met her in town, boring people money. I started to ask her where she come from. I went to a priest and find where the children lived and went. She was trapped there alone. She, she had children? Yeah. And they left her? Yeah, when they get in any home, they, where they left her alone. So I went to her place and find that it's really she needs help. And that is why she tries to walk with the sticks back and up to town to find people who can give. Food, they are begging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I found her there. Them say, well, fell down and bro uh, Ray was broken. Well, how old is he? Start with it. Them say it's about uh, 85. 85? Yeah. And so, he, uh, he, had, he had no one to help. So he is the one who goes to find. So we met with him. Going to town that time, we were sick to find someone to give money to buy mentoring. I met them say going to board in town, money for treatment, because he was bitten by a snake. And at the same time, he had fallen down. I started to speak with him. I found that even he has no family. He not married, he has no wife, he has no children. So he's a desperate person. And that's why we talked with him and I told him to come here so that I may be caring for them together. Okay, give us the story of uh, the lady who was uh, washing clothes. That day I met her going to the places where people do drink. So, totally undrunk. Yes, no. Bars. She used to go to bar. To bar. Mm -hmm. When we met, we tell them to buy. Because she, she, he, has, he has no children, that one. Just going in the bar. That way, that way. So when I met her, I told, uh, we talked, we talked, he told me, he told me the story. So I visited her home, I found that he has no children. And the relatives, they left him, her. So I told her to come here so that they stay with the others. Oh. Yeah. That one tall one, he came from very far from Okambani because of hunger. Came here in Ishiara. He was taken by another Mse. They got four children released. And when that Mse passed, he was chased away 
by people where he and the house. So, I know there yeah. now he has nowhere to stay. He usually come, he come to my home to borrow food. So I knew her that way. Mm. How old is she? That one is about the 82. 82? Yeah. The short one well, was also cheated by the husband. The husband raped and went away to Mombasa. Some years back, he, she was raped with the children. The children, they were already, they got married. So she was raped around. Oh. Yeah. Then now you found? Yeah, I found her. Because she told she cannot go to find anything. Yeah, also boring. Even though she doesn't possess great wealth and lacks some of the things she needs, she chooses to overlook these limitations and takes on a challenging task that many find too tough to undertake. What motivated her to face it instead of ignoring it like many people typically do? They have got children, but their children raped them. Some, they have no one to take care for them. They don't take care for them. And that's why they write in town, boring, and then I feel sympathy on them and feel to stay together with them so that they need feel they are, they are rough. There is someone who is caring for them and they are happy. There are so many in this village, very good. Some, they are in the bend, they cannot walk. I do go the, where they are, I give them food where they end because they cannot be able to walk and come to this place. There are so many, more than 60. When they wake up in the morning, I do make sure that they wash, they take breakfast. Some cannot walk very far, they just stay around. Those who can be able to walk, they just go around and come back. So they have no proper movement. The idea came to me because of how I found out they are struggling. I thought if these people, they can come together and I cook something for them or for, for those who want to help me, these people can really appreciate their life. I have no money, I'm not employed, but I do, I have garden. So the food I have, some I come to cook for them. I just took them there like my children. <laughs> Even if they are older than me, how I do take my parent. I have my parent. And when I see them roitering in town and some being raped by their children, I feel sympathy. And I feel when you talk with them, they give me the stories. I just feel uh, just like my children. Oh my God. Even if they are older than me. She does her best to do everything possible to take care of them and get them all they need. However, she has limited resources and that's why she wants to find helping hands so that she can continue her charity work and the number of people she helps increase. Now, those who want to help me to support my children, I will really appreciate. So like, what would you I need, like to do for them? If you go to like, support, what would you want to do? Food, they have no proper dent. They just trip in the matrices. They need also bendings, proper utensils to cook for them. If you have the heart to lend a helping hand to her, kindly donate via givinglife.com, where the link is found in the description or in the top comments of this video. All these elderly people are very old and can't do things on their own. Their families have left them, but a courageous and kind woman wants to help. Unfortunately, she doesn't have enough resources. However, we can make a difference. With our kindness, we can help these old men and women live a better life. Thank you for watching. I am Susan Burnett and this is Afrimax English. Please remember to subscribe.